वेलकम डियर व्यूअर्स इन दीज डेज बिकॉज ऑफ माई वेरी बिजी शेड्यूल आई कुड नॉट अपलोड द डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स on youtube but because of the lot of demand coming from the viewers today i have tried to discuss a small topic with you which is genetic advance uh from the term itself you are able to understand the genetic advance means that how much you have advanced on genetic basis for that particular trait for which you are interested so as per uh, definition if you if you see the improvement in the mean genotypic value of the selected family the plant which you are selecting on the basis of phenotype just you remember this the plant which you are selecting you are selecting the plant on the basis of its phenotype say for example number of tillers you have seen a plant which is having 12 number of tillers in one plant you have observed that is phenotypic value that is not genotypic value but here in genetic advance as per your definition if you see the improvement in mean genotypic genotypic value of the selected family selected not selected that plant mean genotypic value of the selected family means the family which you have grown from that selected plant i will uh, come later selected family over that of base population from which population you have selected that plant how much improvement you have observed in the population grown from that plant this is genetic advance of course you are looking at the phenotype and you are knowing the phenotype is the result of genotype environment interaction so directly if you are seeing the plant which is having 12 number of tillers doesn't mean its genotypic value is this but hypothetically i am putting the genotypic value here just to explain it well so this is the definition means how much you are advancing with your selection program say for example if you see hypothetically a base population is having its a mean performance for number of tillers is 10 tillers per plant so for that if mean genotypic value is 10 tillers per plant means how you have calculated the mean genotypic value of that tiller uh, that uh, that base population number of many number of plants say for example if you have seen the five plants the one plant has is showing 10 numbers another is showing 12 numbers another is showing 8 numbers another is showing 9 numbers another is showing 11 numbers so all together if you see the mean mean is coming 10 tillers per plant so of course you have selected a plant which is having 12 number of tillers here you see this this plant you have selected and you have grown it if a plant with 12 number of tillers per plant selected harvested and progeny grown in next year next season this is the family of that plant which is selected family if mean genotypic value is 11 tillers per plant how here you are calculating different plants one is showing 12 one is showing 13 one is showing 
one is showing nine pillars, one is showing ten pillars per plant, and mean if you are calculating is eleven. Mind it here, I am calculating just hypothetically the genotypic value which you cannot calculate because whatever you are calculating, this is phenotypic value. That is the result of genotype and environment interaction. But hypothetically, you just mean that this is the these are the genotypic value. So how much genetic advance? Hence the genetic advance will be one tiller per plant. And genetic advance as percent of mean if you calculate, then genetic advance divided by grand mean. Grand mean of the base population, not the grand mean of this. Grand mean of the base population and then uh, uh, multiply by 100. If you see the one tiller per, per plant and the grand mean was 10 of the base population multiplied by 100, you are getting probably it is 10 percent so 10 percent advancement you are achieving 10 percent advancement you are achieving by this selection program of course since we are selecting the plants on the basis of its phenotype phenotypic value which is the result of genotype and environment interaction we we have to calculate the genotypic value separately now I will be coming how that genotypic value you are calculating and on that basis how you are going ahead and actual the real genetic advance you are calculating. Now we are going to calculate genetic advance. As I said that genetic advance you keep in your mind that how much, gen how much genetic advance you have made because of your artificial selection. So now you are calculating genetic advance is equal to k multiplied by sigma p into capital H where k is the constant value of this, that is selection differential. What is selection differential? means how much difference you have obtained because of your selection the selection you have selected the plants say for example 100 plants you have grown in the base population and you have selected five plants so if you have selected five plants what is the selection intensity out of 100 five plants you have selected so the selection intensity is five percent so what is selection differential means the value of the base population for that particular trait the difference between the value of the uh, mean value of the base population for that trait and mean value of the population grown from that particular selected plant that difference give you the selection differential so if you have selected more number of plants say for example you have selected 90 plants so 90 percent so mean value whatever mean value of the base population was would be very close to the mean value of the selected progenies means you are if you are enhancing the selection intensity your selection differential is decreasing that is a separate calculation is made that can be uh, dealt separately of course here i wanted to say that what is this k in the genetic advance k is selection differential it is the difference of the base population mean value and the mean value of the selected progeny but this k changes with the selection intensity percent when selection intensity is increasing then k will be decreasing and k is the constant value for different selection intensity for any trait if you talk here so it has been calculated already in tabular form you will be finding that if 1% selection intensity how much k value will be 2.64 if 2% selection intensity 2.42 if 5% selection, in uh, selection intensity 2.06 if 10% selection intensity 1.76 if 20% selection intensity 1.40 so you see 
more and more selection in, uh, selection intensity and the value of k is decreasing the selection differential is decreasing if you have selected all the plants 100 percent so there will not be any selection differential the meaning of this is that so you have seen that how you are calculating k value then you come to sigma p sigma p is what phenotypic standard deviation what is the phenotypic standard deviation of your base population you have to see that how you are calculating it you have to calculate the phenotypic variance whatever phenotypic variances you are observing in this base population as i had earlier drawn in that base population how much phenotypic variances you are calculating on phenotype basis Phenotypic variations, how, how much you have calculated in that base population that is known as variance P. And if it is, if you take in uh, a hypothetical example, if it is 3.684, then variance P means, uh, I mean, uh, sigma P that is phenotypic standard deviation will be under root variance P. This will be 1.92. So, phenotypic standard deviation will be 1.92 because you, are, you have to have the phenotypic standard deviation for cal calculating the genetic advance and then you have to see the heritability. Heritability you are knowing that how much the portion of variances is heritable to the next generation in broad sense here you are calculating. So, broad sense has heritability means how much genotypic variance you are having you are you have also calculated the genotypic variance in your base population so the genotypic variance of the base population if hypothetically you are putting 3.367 if you are getting the variance g genotypic variance of that your base base base, base population if it is this 3.367 then the heritability in broad sense will be variance z by Variance P. Variance G is your 3.367 and variance P is your 3.684. That is all together the heritability will be 0 0.914. The exact value. If you are calculating the percent heritability per percent, then it will be 91.40 percent. So here we are not calculating the percent for calculating the genetic advance, we are just taking the as such value 0 0.914. Hence, genetic advance will be K into your sigma P into capital H, which is 2.06 if you see here, at 5%, genetic advance at 5%, at 5% of selection intensity, if you talk, so it is 0 0.26, 0 0.2, uh, yeah, 2.06, 2.06 into 1.92 into 0.914 all together you are getting 3.615 so of course the unit of genetic as the genetic as advance you have observed is 3.615 of course the unit of genetic advance will be the same unit of that trait which you are uh, Observing, if it is number of tillers per plant, it means the above genetic advance 3.615 tillers per plant. So, this is your genetic advance. But if you are comparing the genetic advance of two different traits, say for example, if you are calculating grain yield per plant, the genetic advance in grain yield per plant and genetic advance for tillers per plant. So it is very hard to, uh, to compare these two different traits, the genetic advance. So for comparing you have to have the percent, genetic advance percent, then only you can go for, as I said that, to compare the genetic advance obtained into different traits 
the unit of those states will not depict the exact uh, comparison. So you have to calculate the genetic advance as percent of mean. Then only you can understand that how much percentage of advancement you have made for that trait and how much advance you have made for this trait. So it's very clear from uh, this uh, hypothetical example. Genetic advance for tillers per plant and genetic advance for grain yield per plant. Say for example, two traits you are considering and you are comparing how much genetic advance percent you have made in these two. In which trait you have made more, in which trait you have got less advancement. So see, the genetic advance as percent mean is equal to genetic advance divided by grand mean of the base population multiplied by 100. If you see where if the grand mean of that population where I said that 10 tillers per plant say for example hypothetically if it is 10.5 tillers per plant if it is coming then GA as percent of mean will be 3.615 as you have observed there 3.615 genetic ad advance divided by the grand mean 10.5 multiplied by 100 means the genetic advance as percent of mean you have got 34.43 percent for tillers per plant now you have got the percentage of advancement for tillers per plant now you observe, similarly you observe the grain yield per plant. Say for example, if grain uh, the genetic advance for grain yield per plant, if you have ob obtained 7.65 gram per plant, the genetic advance mean. The genetic advance if you have got the unit 3.65 gram per plant. So how you are going to compare with the tillers? So here you have to have the percentage. If the grand mean of that base population for grain yield per plant was 20.5 gram per plant, then you can easily calculate the genetic advance as percent of mean for grain yield per plant. So 7.65 genetic advance, the X bar, grand mean of that population 20.5 into 100, this is equal, equally, equal to 37.32 percent now easily you can compare that uh, how much percent advancement you have made for these two traits so for comparing it is must that you must have the percent genetic advance as percent of mean similarly the related term is genetic gain we must understand the genetic gain also. We must calculate the genetic gain also in any crop for any trait. Particularly, we are interested for the yield performance in any crop which we talk. So, because of the artificial selection we are making in genetic advance, we have seen. So, really, how much gain we are obtaining every year because to feed the ever-growing population you have to move forward every year so how much increase you have made in one year that can be said genetic gain for that particular trait so the genetic gain it is the amount of increase in performance that is achieved through artificial selection during the year and you can calculate for many years so how much advancement in 30 years you have made genetic gain how much you have made in 30 years in 20 years in one year so here you have to see the factors affecting genetic gain this is also very important the genetic variation available in that Population for that particular trait, if it is available, 
if it is not available, how much genetic variability you are creating for making the genetic gain. This is one factor. The heritability of the trait, the trait which is of your concern, that how much heritability is there in that trait. The selection intensity, how much selection pressure you are making. That and the time required to complete a breeding cycle. If it is 3 months crop, if it is 4 months crop, if it is 12 months crop. So it depends. It affects the genetic gain per year. So here I wanted to explain the related terms of genetic advancement or genetic advancement as percent of mean and also the genetic gain. Uh, this is all about for today's topic. Thanking you very much.